Hi there, in this video I'm going to discuss how to work out the gradient of a straight line joining two points. So here is the definition for gradient. The gradient of a straight line is defined as the increase in y ordinate divided by the corresponding increase in the x ordinate from one point to another point on the line. So I have a diagram over here. So if I have two points having coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2. So to work out the gradient and uh, it's sometimes referred to as the slope. OK, so to work out the gradient or the slope, it's the increase in the y ordinate. So increase in the y ordinate in this case is y2 minus y1 divided by the corresponding increase in the x coordinates. So the corresponding increase is x2 minus x1. So this brings us to the formula. So we usually use m to denote gradient. So the gradient m of a straight line is given by the formula y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 by definition. Now, the gradient is also defined as the tangent of the angle that the line makes with the x-axis. So if you take these two points and if you form a right angle triangle, if you work out the tangent of the angle that this line makes with the x-axis, so remember in trigonometry, tan is the opposite side divided by the adjacent side. But so by using the trigonometric ratio of tan, tan theta for this right angle triangle formed is also y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So you could also define gradient as being the tangent of the angle that the line makes with the x-axis. So let's practice uh, the application of this formula with some examples. So example one, part A, calculate the gradient of the straight line joining the following pair of points. So in part A, I have two points. The first point has coordinates one, three. The second point has coordinates four, four. Let's apply the formula with this example. So let's go back to the paper and pen. So in this case, here are the two points. So in step number one, let me name the points. And again, it doesn't matter how you would name them. So you could take the first one as x1, y1, or the second one is x1, y1. The other one will be your x2, y2. So if I take the first one to be x1, y1, so x1, y1 is 1, 3. The remaining one is going to be x2, y2, which in my case is 4, 4. So this takes me to step number two. So in order to work out the gradient M, so the gradient, and we use the letter M for gradient. Remember the formula for the gradient, it's Y2 minus Y1 divided by X2 minus X1. So all that needs to be done now is substituting the data. So Y2 in this case is four minus y1 is 3 divided by x2 and x2 is 4 minus x1 being 1. So if I follow through the calculation, 4 minus 3 is 1 divided by 4 minus 1 which is 3. So the gradient for part A is 1 over 3. So we have another example. So in part B, part B, we need to work out the gradient again for the points minus five, minus seven, and the second point has coordinates minus 10 and minus eight. So back to the paper and pen. So I'm gonna call my X1 and Y1, and I'm gonna take that to be minus five, minus seven. That means x2 and y2 is the remaining point, which has coordinates minus 10, minus 8. OK, so this takes us nicely to step number two. 
So in order to work out the gradients, m, so remember the formula for the gradient, m the formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So it's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So what needs to be done now is substituting the data. So y2 is minus 8 minus y1 which is minus 7 divided by x2 so x2 is minus 10 minus x1 which is minus 5 so let's follow this calculation through so minus 8 minus of minus 7 is minus 1 so minus 1 in the numerator divided by in the denominator minus 10 minus of minus 5 is minus 5 so the two minuses in the numerator and denominator you can cancel them to give you 1 over 5 so this should be the gradient for part b so if we go back to the screenshots so using the concept of gradients let me discuss collinearity so first of all here's a definition so three points a b and c are collinear so collinear means these three points all form a straight line if the gradient of AB is equal to the gradient of BC, which is equal to the gradient of AC. So if you have three points A, B and C, they all lie on a straight line if the following condition is true. So remember, the gradient of AB is equal to the gradient of BC, which in turn is equal to the gradient of AC. So let's see this with an example. So example one, prove that the following points are collinear. So in example number one, we have three points. The three points has, have coordinates two, three, four, four for the second point, And the third point has coordinates 10, seven. So let's apply this principle. So back to the paper and pen. So here are the three points having coordinates 2, 3, 4, 4 and 10, 7. So the first step, here is step number one. Let me uh, label the points A, B and C. So I'm going to call the first point A, the second point B and the third point C. Okay. So if we go back to the screenshot, so these points are only collinear if MAB equals MBC equals MAC, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna work out MAB and MBC, and if MAB equals MBC, A, B, and C are collinear. So if I go back to the paper and pen, let me work out MAB first. So A has coordinates two and three. I'll name this X1 and Y1, okay? And B has coordinates 4 and 4. I'll name that X2, Y2. So the reason for me calling A and B X1, Y1 and X2, Y2 respectively is I'm going to work out the gradient of AB. So in this case, let me work out MAB. So remember the gradient formula. If you have two points, the gradient is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. So if we follow through the calculation, y2 is 4 minus y1, which is 3, divided by and x2, which is 4, minus x1, x1 is 2. So if we continue, 4 minus 3 is 1, divided by 4 minus 2 is 2, so the gradient of AB is half. Now in my step number 2, as we discussed earlier, let me work out MBC, and if MAB equals MBC, 
these three points are collinear. So in this case, I'm going to take B, which has coordinates 4, 4, to be my x1, y1 for the gradient calculation. And I'm going to take C, which has coordinates 10, 7, to be my x2, y2. So with these points named, let's work out MBC. So remember the formula for gradient. It's y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if we substitute in the data, MBC will be y2, so y2 is 7, minus, so minus, y1, y1 is 4, divided by x2, x2 is 10, minus, and x1, x1 is 4. So if we follow through the calculation, 7 minus 4 is 3, divided by 10 minus 4 is 6. 3 over 6 cancels to 1 over 2. So this is the gradient of BC. So if we go back to the screenshot quickly, so remember if MAB equals MBC, so that implies that our points A, B and C are collinear. So if we go back to the paper and pen, so MAB is half, MBC also half. So since MAB is equal to MBC, so therefore these points are collinear, meaning that A, B and C all lie on the same straight line. So we have another example to do. So for example number two, example number two is we need to investigate uh, whether the following points are collinear. So point A has coordinates 2, 0, point B has coordinates 3, 1, and we have a point C having coordinates 8 and 7. So let's investigate whether they're collinear or not. So let's attempt this calculation. Back to the paper and pen. So here are the three points, A, B, and C. So as with the previous problem, let me calculate MAB and MBC. So it doesn't matter which gradients you work out. So you can work out MAB, MAC, or MBC, MAC. So you need to calculate any two gradients. And if the gradients are equal, that means that they're collinear. If the gradients are not equal to one another, that means that they're not collinear. So I'm going to work out MAB and MBC. So here is my step one. Step one is the calculation of MAB. So A has coordinates 2, 0. That is my X1, Y1. B has coordinates 3, 1. That is my X2, Y2. Let's work out MAB using the formula for gradient Y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if we substitute in the data, y2 in this case is 1 minus y1, y1 corresponds to 0, divided by, and in the denominator, x2 which is 3 minus x1 in this case corresponds to 2. So if we follow through the calculation, 1 minus 0 is 1 over, in the denominator, 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 over 1 is 1. So 1 being the gradient of AB. So let's continue to step number 2. Step number 2 is I'm going to work out another gradient and I'm going to calculate MBC. So B has coordinates in this example 3, 1. So I'm going to call this X1, Y1 when I use the gradient formula. And C has coordinates 8 and 7. This is my X2, Y2 for the gradient formula. 
So here's the formula. So if you've got two points, the gradient has the formula y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So let's substitute in the data. MBC is y2 in this case, that corresponds to 7, minus y1, and y1 is 1, divided by, and x2 is 8, minus x1, which is 3. So if we follow through the calculation, 7 minus 1 is 6, divided by 8 minus 3 is 5. So the gradient of BC, 6 over 5. So if we go back to the screenshot, so remember A, B and C are only collinear if MAB equals MBC. So if we go back to the paper and pen, MAB in this case is 1, MBC in this case is 6 over 5. So they don't, they're, so they're not equal. So that implies they're not collinear. So since MAB is not equal in MBC, in this case, that means that they're not collinear. So that completes this example and that sadly ends this video. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, a like is very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice related problems and I hope to see you again. Thank you.